My name is Sue, I'm a farmer's wife from Herefordshire and I also work off the farm as a farm secretary doing farm records and accounts. I think it was about 10 years ago that we first sort of hooked up to the internet. It was very scary because very often farmers like something that they can touch and feel and see and this is really none of those things. But it was something that we wanted to do because there's so much out there to find out and to, to hook into. You haven't got to go out and spend thousands and thousands of pounds. Just look around, keep it simple probably is the best advice to give to anybody. When you're setting up the internet, if you're not technically able, get someone to do it for you and to show you how to connect and the basics that go with that. For farmers, there are very real advantages. It's not rocket science and it's just a case of following logical steps that are clearly set out for you. We contract rear cars for a company and I have documents that I send by email now rather than by faxing or by post. I use internet banking for clients, I use internet banking for myself and for the farm. For example, you've been working out all day, you come in at night, you just want to check your bank account and see where you are, you can access that 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can transfer money between your funds and if you want to, it is easy to set up and pay your bills. CTS Online is a cattle tracing system, it's the online site. It can minimise errors, it can make things faster. For example, cattle movements, you can still send in the cattle movement cards from the passport. They can get lost in the post and that can be a problem. In the same way, you can still register cattle births by paper-based. If it gets lost in the post, that can cause severe problems for you. So therefore, using the internet, minimises the chance of mistakes and errors and it can be of a real benefit to you. And the helpline, the people on the end of a phone are fantastic. They know their jobs and they will they just do their best to help you. Google is just one of the search engines that are available on the internet. Now a search engine is a technical term really for a web-based encyclopedia information site and you would just need to put in the words that are relevant to the information that you wanted. For example, my granddaughter had a bit of a constipation problem recently, so I tapped in constipation in young babies and a whole lot of information came up, some of which was very useful for us. A farmer came to the office the other day and wanted some spares from Ravenhills. I just tapped in Ravenhills, Hereford, and the address came up with the telephone number. Very quick, very easy. It saves you a phone call. It saves you trawling through phone books. Google gives you access to the whole wide world, not just in the UK. And so therefore the chances of being able to find the information that you want are very good. You've got eBay, which is an online auction site. Now I do know farmers that have bought and sold four by four vehicles on there, have bought tractors on there, you can buy office equipment on there and then you can go down the shopping route which is much more fun and you can buy clothes, handbags, shoes. It's a huge resource. Yeah, the internet's not all about work, it's also about personal use and pleasure and leisure. For example, Facebook, which is a little bit hard to describe but it's a social networking site where you set up an account and then you find friends. The benefits are huge. You can chat with people who are your friends. You can, for example, I was awake at three o'clock in the morning, so I went online to see who was on a couple of people in Australia. So I had a quick chat with folks in Australia. You can put pictures up there so your friends can access your pictures. It's a huge resource. On the other side of that, it does, it could have potential business benefits if you wanted to use it to promote your business. Personally, I, I don't, but I know other people that do. I use the internet every day. I use it constantly in my work environment. I use it constantly in my home environment. And because I use it all the time, it's become an automatic process. I, I don't really think about it anymore.